Hi, it's Chester at Blue PK and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at using contains criteria or partial match or wildcard criteria in the context of count ifs and sum ifs functions. In our first scenario, I need to count the number of Jamie Oliver branded products that appear in these transactions. There's about 18,000 records. Now what I would do, first of all, before I attempted the calculations, is house my data in an Excel table. It's really easy to do, and it makes the formulas easier to write. So I click somewhere in the data, Control T, click on OK, and then up here, give the table a name. I'll call it Transactions. And let's just scroll over a little bit. So number of transactions, I would use the count ifs function. Criteria range one, so which column are we applying the criteria to? Well, that's in the transactions table. Open a square bracket, the product column. And then the criteria for that is J Oliver. Now, if I just click in that cell, J Oliver, close the bracket, press enter, I get a zero because there are no products that just have the text J space Oliver in it. Now the trick here, and I do it initially up here in this cell, is to put a little star after it. And that star is a wildcard character. You can see now I get an answer. And that literally means any number of text characters in this position. So in other words, this is a begins with J Oliver criteria. Now if you wanted to say contain, so when we get to pan, we don't know where pan's going to be. Is it going to be at the end or the middle of the product description? So to create contains, what you do is you put a star on either side. Now it looks a bit strange to have the stars up here. Let's get rid of them. So what we really want to do is build them into our formula. Now you'd think that you would just kind of type stars on either side, but it doesn't work because it thinks those stars are some sort of multiplication and these are being used in the context of text. So I'm going to put them in quotation marks and then concatenate them with the value in H2. So this ampersand symbol joins or concatenates a wildcard character with the value in H2. And I need to do the same here. And that's how you create a contains criteria, having those stars on either side of your cell address. Now, if I wanted to only count Jamie Oliver branded products that contain the word pan, then I can use the next argument in count ifs, which is criteria range two. Now that's the same column. So you can apply criteria to the same column more than once. What we're saying is that both these criteria need to be true. So criteria two would be a wildcard character concatenated with the value in I2, concatenated with another wildcard character. So it's 359 Jamie Oliver pan products. So next we're going to sum up the quantity sold for transactions that meet both of these criteria. Now we've done a lot of the work here. I can copy the arguments that I've used in the count ifs function and put them in the sum ifs function. And sum ifs, first argument is in fact sum range. So which column are we adding up values in? Well, that's our quantity column. We've got a quantity column there. Transactions, open square brackets, quantity, comma, and then paste in the criteria that we used in our count ifs function, close the bracket, 1043 items sold. Okay, let's move on to some more examples. Here, I need to answer these questions, starting with, starts with ABC. So how many transactions include a product ID that starts with ABC? Let's put this data in a table and we'll call this one sales. And we're doing count ifs for this. So criteria range one is the product ID column. 
and our criteria for that is going to be this value concatenated with the star wildcard character, close bracket, press enter, 744. So if you remember, if I put a star after the value, it means any number of characters in this position. So in other words, it begins with. Now if I want to do an ends with, that would be the star in front of the condition. So any number of characters before 00, 686. Now in the next example, we want to count the number of product IDs where the fifth character is a two. And I've entered this value as a text value with an apostrophe before it, because our criteria is a text value. Let's do this. Again, I'm using count ifs same column, but I can't use the star wildcard character because it means any number of characters. To specify the number of characters, use the question mark wildcard character. So we would say in front of the two, there needs to be four characters and concatenate that with the value in our condition column. And then after the two, there can be as many characters as you like. But that's where I use the star. Close the bracket, press enter, 2,239. Now in the next example, the product ID needs to start with two A's and the last character needs to be a hash symbol. So count ifs, criteria range is the same. And criteria one, so starts with AA. We'll point at that criteria there. Then after the AA, there can be as many characters as you like. We'll concatenate that with the star wildcard character. But then at the end, we need to have a hash. So ampersand and then this cell address. So start with AA, start with whatever's in J6 any number of characters between and end with a hash. Close the bracket, press enter, 241. So in this last example, the third character needs to be an A and the fourth from last character needs to be a forward slash. Count ifs. Product ID column. So third character needs to be an A. I need two characters in front of the A. And then between the A and the forward slash, there can be as many characters as you like. So ampersand a star, ampersand. Then the fourth from last character needs to be a forward slash. So I need to refer to this cell and there has to be three characters after that forward slash. So ampersand, three characters. Close the bracket, press enter, 51 results. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's been useful. If it has, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.